What's up, y'all? This is Gigi Neal, and I'm finally, finally, finally! You looking so sexy, I'm thinking about you. Thinking about you. Got thoughts in my head of me all of Good afternoon, y'all. Today is Sunday, February 9th. Yeah. Today's Sunday, February 9th. I am off today. Today is Sunday. Uh, I wouldn't say Sunday, fun day. But it's fun to me because I'm off and I took today. I'm using today as like a self-care day, a relaxing day, a day to get myself together mentally and spiritually and start making plans for the upcoming week since today technically starts the new week. So I started by I did something. So I washed my hair the other day. Thursday? Did I wash my hair Thursday? I think I washed my hair Thursday. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Yes, I'm still sick, getting over a cold. I am. I have been taking medicine. I took some this morning. I probably need to take some more um, now. But yeah, uh, my hair has shrunk. I found a new hack for my dimming brush. It's like toe up. I basically need to throw it in the trash and order a new one. I got one in my car on Amazon. I'm a, um, I'll order that soon. But um, I got a I call it a wig brush. I've been calling it a wig brush since middle school. But um, y'all may know it as a paddle brush. If you don't have a dimming brush, um, or if yours broke like mine did, and you still want to get like really defined curls, section your hair off and brush your hair with a paddle brush, sis, and your curls will be super defined. And they will, your hair will still shrink a lot. Like my hair shrunk a lot especially after it started drying um my hair shrunk a lot after using it but i feel like i could deal with the shrinkage as long as because my face is fat that's the only thing that bothers me about it but um i mean my curls are defined so i don't really care <laughs> I don't really care about the shrinkage because as the days go on, I can pick my hair through. I can go through and pick it now, like pick it from the root to make my hair bigger. And I'll be good to go. So, yeah, I'm going to make more of an effort to look good. Like, I like just look cute. Like, even now, like today, I got a little bit of concealer on. I feel my eyebrows in. I don't really care for my brows today. But it's something. And I put on some lashes and some lip gloss and some earrings, you know, just something. And I got on this super basic outfit. But I feel like I look cute because I look real casual. I got on this plane. And I ironed my t-shirt, sis, because this thing was wrinkled. Usually I just throw it on and not care. But I put, I ironed my shirt. See, that's effort. Effort. Okay. Put me on a, just a regular t-shirt. Got on some sweatpants. But up top I look. So I feel like I still look cute. So even if I go out in public. I still look like. You know like I meant to go out in public. Looking like this. Because I, I look cute. So that's one thing that I want to do. For the rest of my days. Is to. Put more effort into my appearance. Because I do notice that. When I feel good about myself and I think I look good, I just feel better. I have a better day. I have a better outlook on the day. Because every time I look in the mirror or something, I'm like, you know. Because when you look bad or you feel like you look bad, you don't feel like anything about your appearance is flattering. Um, you just, you, you tend to have more of a negative output on things. <laughs> And be like, oh, I just want today to be over with. I look ugly. I feel ugly. I am ugly. But no, if you put more of an effort into it, even if it's something simple, like ironing your t-shirt, combing your hair, putting some earrings on so you don't feel naked. Because I used to feel naked without any earrings. If I didn't have, <coughs> oh, excuse me. If I didn't have my studs in or any type of earrings, I would feel naked and i still do sometimes and i feel like i look 
mm, like a little boy. <laughs> Sorry, I keep moving this around. Um, I am going to be journaling today. Straight journaling. Um, I'm going to be trying to come up with some new material. Uh, some more poems that I can recite for y'all this week. I also, I'm so proud of myself because I uploaded two vlogs last week. And I want to try to do two. I want to try to do more of a, uh, have more of a set schedule for my vlogs. Which means I'm going to have to start vlogging a whole lot more, sis. And I'm trying to like, you know, have poems and stuff ready. So I'm going to start working on that. And I'm gonna, I need to go through my other journal because I got poetry and stuff in there that I might want to recite, like stuff that I wrote back in college that I feel like would, you know, be cool to recite. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have anything planned for today because today's supposed to be my relaxing day, chill day. I ain't planning on doing nothing. I just sent my little brother to the store. I got some peanut butter cookies and a soda. And these hot chips. I know I ain't supposed to be. I know I ain't supposed to be eating this. But mind your business. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna chill out. My mom just went to the grocery store. She's actually gone now, going grocery shopping. So I guess I'll show y'all some of uh, what she got when she gets back. Cause I'm gonna help her put up groceries. And I guess I'm gonna be cooking tonight. But uh, I should call her and let her know she needs to get. Because I think I want spaghetti. I think I just want to do like some spaghetti. Some quick, some easy. Because if I'm cooking, it's going to be some quick, easy. Since I ain't, I ain't finna do no whole spread. Because I already am not the best cook. Like, I, like, it's been a while since I really like cook, cook. So, who finna cook a whole spread? Who finna cook a whole spread? Not me. Spaghetti it is. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. It stayed up for a few seconds. Wow. Good afternoon, people. Um, Today, oh, I look ugly right now. I don't feel cute. I don't look cute. But anyway, one day, if they create a procedure to get my lazy eye, well, I don't think I want to mess with my eyes, but I'm leaving work. I'm tired. I'm like, this is TMI, but my period came on yesterday, and ever since it came on, I've been extremely tired. Like, I want to go home and take the fattest nap and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go home and take a damn nap because i'm tired <coughs> like i'm i'm just tired of stress i'm tired of people calling me with stress is this how what it's like being like an empath like people who takes on like other people's problems and like their feelings and like their illnesses and stuff like you can fit like i'm not saying that i am an empath but baby i'm tired i'm tired of hearing people complain about shit i'm tired of people getting upset and doing irrational shit i'm tired of taking other people's problems and worrying and stressing about them as if they're my own like i'm tired of being concerned I'm tired of being more concerned about other people's well-being than they are for themselves. And I'm not talking about any one person or any situation in particular. I'm just speaking of what's on my mind right now. Because I have gone through things personally, or people around me have gone through things, and they've come to me with their problem. And I'm just like, I'm tired. I'm tired for you. I'm tired, you tired, we tired. <clears throat> I'm trying to make it home to my baby. My baby is extremely sick. 
she has like this uncontrolled. I feel so bad because I'm the one that got her sick. I feel so bad because she caught a cold from me and I'm slowly getting over my cold and hers is getting like worse. Like, I've been giving her medicine and stuff and we've been suctioning out her nose and stuff like that because now she got like mucus filled up in her nose. I just feel so bad. I feel so bad because she was like coughing. She was coughing so much to the point where she like she started choking then she started like she threw up all over me all over me and her because she was laying on me when she threw up i was like oh girl i love her so much and i feel so bad so like last night and really any other nights that she got sick she started coughing and stuff i have her laying on me i'm like oh i'm so sorry but then she have enough energy like she got up and she started trying to grab from my laptop. She kept trying to grab from my phone, my charger and stuff. She was grabbing for everything. I'm like, girl, like, and you could tell when she's actually kind of feeling bad because her eyes look glazed over and then she just kind of just, just laying there looking. Like, hmm. You know, you know how kids look when they get, when anybody looks when they get sick, like they just, they ain't got the energy to do nothing. They just kind of there. <laughs> but when she get that little spurt of energy, she use it. She uses it all. My goodness gracious. She was playing and stuff last night. But I want her to sleep as much as possible. So she can, um, you know, just rest. Like, just get your rest, girl. Ain't no sense you trying to force yourself to stay up for what? Ain't nothing special going on. You ain't missing nothing. I can promise you, you ain't missing nothing. But yeah, I'm about to go home and check on my baby. Check on my baby. I hope y'all having a great week so far. It's only Tuesday, February 11th. I don't know if I said that already. I think I did. But it's only Tuesday. The week really just getting started. And I'm low-key. I just really want to go home because I'm tired. I thought I was tired yesterday, but I was almost falling asleep today at work. I was sitting in that chair, and I started dozing off before I knew it. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I need to go to sleep. I ain't have no energy drink, coffee, or nothing like that this morning. So, I um, I just said I had a power aid. That's what I had. And just... Not too long ago, I was drinking on some apple juice that I still got. That's it. Um, I did have something to eat. I got some sushi on my break. And I, I ate that. I got some chips. <coughs> <coughs> I need to go home and take some more medicine.
but now I feel like my words will have it will hold more weight because I'm in a leadership position so they're probably gonna take my word as mine and be like okay well she told me to do it like this so I'm gonna do it like this you know so that's kind of neat or whatever um yeah I gotta start working on the schedule tomorrow and there was an accident right across from my job too this morning it was pretty bad somebody ended up getting trapped in their car and they they had to um pry the door open like cut it or whatever and pry it open to get them out um they ended up on a stretcher and being taken to the emergency room i'm assuming so, prayers for them. I hope that they weren't too badly injured. Uh, I definitely hope whatever injuries they did sustain were not super serious. Because, honey, these accidents I've been seeing lately have been crazy. It's been a lot of uh, fatal accidents where at least one person died. And it's just, it's just scary to think that you literally driving down the street. Driving down the street. Because, like, this morning, I was in the back on the computer... And all of a sudden, I hear skr, skr, boom, boom, boom. I was like, What the hell? Sound like somebody just got hit. And I go outside, and sure enough, there's like a three car accident. But all the cars, I guess because of how hard it hit each other, all the cars were like spaced out. So, I don't know, it was crazy. Um, but yeah, I hope that everybody involved is like physically okay. And mentally okay and to the person that had to go to the hospital i pray that you're okay too and that you will be okay because i know nobody wakes up in the morning and expects to get into an accident especially not an accident that um will cause them to go to the hospital but anyway i'm really running out of stuff today stuff to say and i'm just tired I don't really be having much to vlog because my life is pretty basic and boring right now. I keep thinking of different things that I want to do. I want to start doing stuff for myself. You know, just start taking better care of myself and just start taking my self-care. Taking better care of myself and my self-care. I want to start taking my self-care more seriously again because I just kept thinking about when I was in college and I made a genuine effort to do things for myself and take myself out on dates and do stuff like that and even though i work and i have a child now i can still do those things i can still take time for myself and i can take time for my baby like me and me and zoe can go out on little outings and you know go out to eat or i could take her you know to the movies and see like a little cartoon movie or something like that something that i know she would enjoy i could take her to like one of those little kid uh not nothing advanced for like the older kids because she ain't old enough yet but like one of those smaller like you know how they have like indoor playgrounds for kids where they can go in and like crawl around and stuff i want to take her to something like that because she don't really get to, get to interact with other babies her age she does not get to interact with other babies her age the kids that she know um, which are mostly family they're a lot older than her so even though they're still kids they're still a lot older than her so of course she can't play with them in a way that they you know in a way that they can play with each other so she can't run around with them or play video games or you know run on the playground and stuff she's still I wish I had um, some friends here that had babies so we could, you know, just link up and our babies can get to know each other. Oh, God. <laughs> Girl, you know what? Let me just focus on this road before I end up on the news. Good morning. I know y'all tired of me looking crazy, but I got to hit it to you one more time. Um... 
What's today? Wednesday, February 19th. <sighs> if you can't tell by my hair, I am trying not to be stressed. Trying to be as calm as possible during this retrograde and all that. But I need to wash my hair. Right now, I'm just baking me some fish. I'm having some fish, mashed potatoes. It's like 10.43 in the morning. But I don't care. I'm hungry. Fish, mashed potatoes. And I think I'm going to have a little Hawaiian roll with it. With probably my... I'm going to finish off my Sprite with it. So, yeah. I'm not doing anything... Well, well, I took that back. I do have to go to work later on today. But as of right now, um, I was planning on, like, writing and stuff. But I really just want to take a nap. I think I'm going to even take a nap. Well, I need to wash my hair. I had to be to work at 3.15. So, I need to, like, set some alarms and reminders so I can have time to do everything. Because it's already almost 11 o'clock. Sis, excuse me, but I ain't even bother. Look at my hair. I ain't even bother. I just didn't even bother because I'm about to wash my hair. Should I eat and then wash my hair? I don't know. Because I want to get my hair braided. I need to call my sister. And see if she'll be available this weekend to do my hair. So, because I really just want some braids. So I can just wear braids for a while. And just keep wearing braids until I feel like getting my hair like silk pressed and stuff. Because I really want to get my ends trimmed and get a silk press. And then, yeah, just go from there. But I kind of don't want to deal with my real hair though because it's been raining so much lately i already know the minute i get my hair sick press it's gonna start raining then my hair gonna start reverting back and then i'm gonna be pissed off and feel like i just wasted my time and money on getting a silk press just for the rain to come down and curl it up again so so that's why for now i think i'm just gonna get braids and say bump the rest of the stuff but anyway i've been having a pretty decent week i hope y'all been having a pretty decent week it ain't over yet we halfway through oh girl i feel slim feel slim and trim i ain't i ain't that trim but oh this this angle ain't that great i'm trying to learn my angles better too that's cute that's cute or whatever that's cute but anyway um, I hope you're having a great day today. I hope you're having a good week, a productive week. Be calm, cool, and collected during this retrograde. Pray, meditate, take time to yourself to clear your thoughts, clear your mind. Don't be so quick to react in, um, you know, like intense situations. Just, I would say Wusa, but. Y'all know what I mean. So, yeah, I'll probably talk to y'all in a little bit. Anybody want a 10-month-old? When she see me on my phone, her little toy phone. I done got her little toy phone. Let me show y'all. Hold on, I got a oh, on the bed. This is my Valentine's Day gift to her, okay? Her little toy phone. Is it on? It's even touch screen, sis. Look. It's even touch screen. And this still ain't good enough for her. When you can swipe from side to side, you can call. I don't save my number in the thing so she can call me when I ain't here. But that ain't good enough. Look at her. She's bad. Give me my stuff. <laughs>